All right, step on up. Have you been feeling okay? Okay, good. So right about 179. So usually when people ask me what I do and I tell them I'm an oncology dietitian, the response is usually, well, I thought cancer patients can eat whatever they want. <laughs> and what we do here is very individualized based on what point the person is in their journey. I mean, he's making himself eat. Okay, awesome. And she's been doing a good job of having food too. <laughs> there was a need for an oncology dietitian at the first hospital I worked at. And so they asked if I could start seeing some of their patients. And so I said, sure, I'm, I'm willing to take on some cancer patients. And I thought their journey was really interesting. I thought uh, cancer treatment was really interesting and it was changing all the time. I was fortunate that the hospital recognized the benefit very quickly and they actually decided to make it a full-time position. And so I interviewed and accepted that position. And then I've loved oncology ever since and <laughs> can't imagine doing anything else. But what I really like on here is there's this plate. And this is kind of what I try to teach everybody. So you don't have to become a vegan or go you know, completely to... I probably always should have been talking about plant-based eating, but I think it's become more and more prevalent. It's more going back to the way we were meant to be eating more, more fruits and vegetables and plant sources. Not saying that you can't have some of the other things as well, but more plants in your diet. That's definitely something a lot of the patients are very interested in as well. Kind of through everything. So for what I do, it's typically You've met. developed a relationship with the patients, so of course sometimes it's sad, but there's also a lot of celebration that happens too when you see people get better or you see what you've talked about from the last time actually working and helping someone and you hear someone say, thank you, you've made this journey so much easier for me. Or I've had people who unfortunately have had cancer maybe five, ten years ago where they never had a dietitian, and now they have me to help them through their journey and they're like, my first journey would have been so much better if you would have been there. And those things are what keep me coming back.